What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W and today we're going to go over a day trading recap. It's a pretty deep red day guys. Check it out. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and jump into this day here today and uh, it's a humbling day. Uh, it's, uh, it's a red day. It's not a fun red day. I mean, no red day is fun, but it's a deep red day. Uh, not catastrophic. It's right at the top end of my kind of like max loss for the day type thing. It's not so much about the red as it is about I was wrong on every single trade. And <laughs> we're going to go over them uh, here in a minute. <coughs> uh, the uh, first couple of trades were just I don't even know if I got to record them. They were just not they were really bad. Uh, then I took I just couldn't get on the right side. I just couldn't get on the right side. That's all it was. I couldn't get on the right side of anything. I traded uh, Tesla today and I traded a small cap and I was red on both. So I'm gonna show you those trades here in a second. Let me start getting them ready here. Uh, but as I do, do me that quick favor and smash the like button for me. It really helps out a lot with the channel. And on a day like this, I really need to cheer me up. So smash that like button. Let's see if we can get this uh, like button up there. You know, I don't know, 70, 80, maybe 100 likes on this video. Because let me tell you something, uh, you know, as a, as a YouTube day trader education channel, I could easily not even upload this video today. Uh, but I know that it brings important lessons out there. And it also helps me out by just putting it out there. And, and it helps me like get past it. You know, like tomorrow's already on its way. And I can move on from today's nasty red day. So uh, there was one ticker today in particular that I should have traded and uh, I actually had the opportunity to, but by then I was already so deeply read that I was like, forget this, I'm done. I was just disgusted with myself and uh, I moved on and didn't even look at it again before that setup came. And this goes to prove and show the setup would have worked out that we need to be patient. Stop trying to figure out ahead of time where the direction is going to go and wait for the confirmation, right? And that's the lesson behind today's recap. Wait for confirmation. When I wait for confirmation, my accuracy is usually between 60 to 70 some odd percent. When I wait for confirmation, when I don't wait for confirmation, it's just out the window. It's not trading. It's just uh, FOMO thinking you're more than you are type trading. It's just no good. So waiting for confirmation is it's just great because when you wait for confirmation, you have proper risk reward. OK, you have uh, a higher accuracy, at least I do, you know, when when you wait for that confirmation, when you wait for that trigger. Sure, you don't get to capture the entire huge move uh, of the given play, but you get to capture the safe, accurate move. So uh, we're going to go over all that here. Uh, but before we do, do me that quick favor. Like I said, smash the like button for me. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And special announcement, uh, Webull, I think after the end of the month, is no longer going to be doing the two free stocks. They're only going to go to one free stock. So if you haven't taken advantage of that and gotten your two free stocks from Webull, link in the description section below. You download the app, you fund your account with $100, and you're going to get two free stocks. And those two free stocks will be valued between anywhere from 12 to up to $1,400, okay? When they move on to just one free stock, it's gonna be valued, I believe, between $8, $8 to 1,000 or 900, something like that, I don't remember. Uh, but you wanna take advantage of that now while you can, because you're gonna get two free stocks. Also, they have a new uh, desktop type platform that I'm going to uh, investigate here pretty soon and do a video on, because it sounds like they're trying to compete with uh, you know the big brokers like Thinkorswim platform on TD Ameritrade. So I definitely wanna look into that and I will do a video for you guys on it. Now, let's go ahead and move into the day. Uh, as we know, the uh, overall market, the SPY, doesn't care about anything, as you see. Uh, it just keeps going up and up and up because, uh, you know, stonks only go up. That's right, stonks only go up. Uh, you can see here, look at that. That is insane, the overall market. So, you know, I thought today, with relative weakness in tech, we might get some downside on tech. So what did I look to do? I was looking to short via puts, Apple and or Tesla, and that did not serve me well. <clears throat> I'll show you here, uh, Apple, let me get that Apple chart real quick. I'm sorry, the Tesla chart. Here's the Tesla chart on the three minute. Okay, let's zoom in here. 
look at this look at this action this is the tesla action today like what even is this there's no direction it's we're going green we might go red no we're just gonna go sideways and trade in and out of vwap because nothing matters you know so i got chopped up early on in the morning uh here and i believe in here just because they were just bad trades bad trades bad risk reward uh and it just it, i got hurt that's all you know i got hurt uh we got down and i could have thought to myself there's going to be short shorts covering here we might see a quick pop and in here you know i've traded this before i could see a quick little pop off of vwap and i've traded this before made money on but nope i i was just tunnel vision on puts and writing this down to like 1950 let me take a look at the at the uh, 60 minute chart here what was it yeah 1950 see right here right here in front of uh this previous low here and here right here in front of that 1950 to 1960 area and if we broke under that you know we might test yesterday's lows again which yesterday was just a monster day if you had some puts look at that all the way down here to 1920s which is this previous top here and yesterday's low so i had those two targets in mind for for downside on tesla but as you can see here on the 15 minute chart uh right here we'll zoom in a little bit tesla just sideways sideways the three minute chart so just sideways action here all morning long on tesla and you know that is what it is it just chopped me up and i hate chop so i was looking at everything i was looking at boeing as well and boeing gave this you know real big dump at the open uh test of vwap failed you know you could have written this down here uh, had you taken some puts or shorted the actual stock itself, but I really wasn't too focused on Boeing. I was more focused on Tesla and Apple uh, along with one small cap, which is Vive. So I'll show you Apple here. Now, Apple, okay, I'm going to show you the live trades here in a second. Apple had a clean uh, attempt here, a clean setup that I could have used, and I was thinking about it. I was thinking about just waiting for everything to settle down and have Tesla come up here. I'm sorry, Apple come up here and test this 90 main VWAP. Why? Because we had. The 90 minute was coming it was coming down here and right in here i was looking at tesla uh, at apple and it came down here and made a new low when it did that i said okay now i'm gonna wait for it to bounce back and test vwap in the 90 ma by here i was already at max loss on the day uh on everything else so i decided to just forget about it like i seriously didn't even come look at it again until recently before i did the video and I saw that it worked out perfectly. And this goes to show you when you're patient and you wait for your plans, you know, they tend to work out more often than not. And if I would have been stopped out here, big whoop, because I had plenty of time to get, you know, long those puts in here. Had I gotten stopped out on a quick pop above VWAP, minimal loss. And I could have written this down here for like a dollar something per contract. I was looking to take five to 10 contracts, easy, easy win. And uh, I got, you know, sucked into the hype. That's all I got sucked into the hype on everything else. Then we had Vive. This was another one that, uh, you know, had a lot of hype. Like this thing went from a lower day of 82 cents to a higher day of $1.44. Monster move. So I actually traded this and I'll show you the live trade here on uh, in a second. The reason I traded this was because the risk reward, the setup was fine. The risk reward was amazing. I was even looking to double up, you know, on, on my entry. Like I, I took a starter position that I was going to double up on. So I just got in with a 50% size position and I was looking to go to 100%. Had uh, a trigger occurred and I'll show you that when I put the live recording here up in a couple of minutes on that. But this was another red trade. So by this point is when Apple was making that bounce attempt to VWAP. So I was already red on this one, had cut it and I had already taken four trades. All four were red. I said, I'm done on the day. I'm done on the day and uh, I'll just make my video and tomorrow's another day. I tweeted out my PL. If you haven't seen that, make sure to follow me on Twitter. Link in the description section below. We'll take you to my Twitter account as well as all my social media. So make sure you take advantage of that and check it out along with the coupon code for 15% off trade idea scanners and charts. Okay. Uh, also, they have an AI that people seem to like a lot. I haven't used it, but you can have 15% off as well with my coupon code. Now, let's go ahead and grab these live trades here for you real quick i have out of the four trades i have three recorded here is the first one and uh well this is not the first one it's probably like my second trade the first one was too quick and i couldn't get it 
uh, on the recording. So this one was 44 seconds. I was just looking to see if we were going to start to dump down underneath 2000 here, get this 90 and made a crossover view up and maybe send Tesla down here back to 1970 would have been a monster win. Uh, so I only took one contract to minimize risk and I had the, sh the chance to add if, you know, this 90 may triggered. However, we started to not go. You see, it looks like it's going to go, but it doesn't. Fast forward that here for you. Boom. I stop out right there. And I'm glad I stopped out because let's go over here to Tesla real quick. And that was on this. What was it? Was it on this one? Let's let's let me look again. Let's let's bring that live trade up again to confirm. Boom. And we fail back down. No. So that actually would have worked out. See, I was already in my head there. I was already in my head there because it would have worked out maybe not to 1970, but it would have worked out to 1980. I would have probably added a second contract in here, taking the first one off here and then just taking the second one off uh, on one of these two candles at break even. So, you know, the trade itself w didn't work out because we didn't go test the lows, but at least one of the contracts would have been in profit. So had you held on to just that singular contract looking for the test of the lows, then it probably would have been a red trade anyways, because we bounce off of 1980 and break back above VWAP. So that was a red trade. Then we have the second trade right here. Oh, this is just, oh, that's just me recording Apple. Okay. So no trades there. So I only got two of the red of the four red trades recorded, but I'll show you all the uh, P and L's here in a second. So here we have VI, V I V E. It looks like we're going to hold this 105 area, which was this previous halt. We have the 90 MA there, VWAP, looking like we're going to get that 90 MA VWAP cross. Good volume on this bounce back. This rejection here is heavy volume. Didn't like that too much, but we had better volume on the bounce back. OK, so I said, you know what? This is very uh, a very good risk reward because I'm in at a dollar 20. OK, cost basis. And I'm looking at add if we break a dollar twenty five with some umph behind it. And my stop is just going to be about a dollar fourteen, a dollar fifteen. So I'm risking like six, maybe seven cents. OK, for the shot at a high a day out of a dollar forty five There's a dollar forty four, a dollar forty four high a day. So I mean, you know, I'm risking seven cents max for a shot at 20 cents profit per share. OK, that's a good risk reward. That's a monster risk reward, actually. Right. That's a monster risk reward. And that's just for the first take profit. We're not talking about the second take profit, probably in front of two dollars. I had uh, you know, look at the daily and I had levels at 160 to that 180 zone. You know, take a little profit there because of some tops. And then, boom, we had space to two bucks. So this could have been a monster trade. I was looking to add over 125 uh, to a full 5000 share position. OK, now this trade only took three minutes uh, and 37 seconds here. So we'll fast forward a little bit just so the video is not too long. What I want you to see is here on the level two, all the resistance. Look at this 78,000 shares at 122. All the resistance. Look at when we get up to 125. Look at that 50,000, 11,000, 11,000, you know, at 130, 50,000 at 125. There's a lot, a lot of shares uh, in there. However, it didn't phase me because if you look at the volume, we've traded 47 million shares of volume. So, you know, what's 60,000 shares? It's nothing. It can go. And, I, and if it goes, it's going to go, right? But it, with volume. So there, as long as we're holding that general zone, I'm, I'm confident to hold it. You know, right there, we're holding. I'm looking for that 90 made a crossover, that 115 zone. I thought this one was going to take it. I thought we were going to go right there. And I was getting ready to add. However, we get that action there and I stop out of the position. Very small loss, just uh, 80 something dollars lost. And let's go to Vive real quick here on the chart so you can see what that looks like. This is where I stopped out. We regain VWAP, make a quick attempt up here and then that's it. So far, it's very bearish and I wouldn't be surprised to see this back at a dollar or 95 cents here soon. So guys, that's it for me today. Let me show you the uh, unrealized, well, I'm sorry, the realized PL here. You could see Vive, I only lost 84 bucks, but then I have three Tesla uh, puts that I tried to take, which, you know, I lost 200, 100, 180 something. It's a 590 or $580 red day, which means 
that I round up usually, so it's a $600 red day. It sucks. Not happy. Smash that like button to give me a smile. Remember to comment. Let me know how you did. Hit the notification bell so you're alerted when you subscribe of my upcoming videos. And I have a lot of new videos that I've been working on that are going to be coming out here pretty soon. And I'll catch you on the next one.